Silma, this question is for you. It says, is the city of Johannesburg or municipality entitled to terminate your electrical supply? And uh, in what instance can you approach the court for a spoliation order should you be uh, you know, terminated by the municipality? Um, so now what advice can you give on, on this topic? We get those very often. Um, in SSLR, we deal with these kind of urgents more than what I would like to, to deal with it. And the, the main thing is, it's it's cool that I'm getting all the urgent things today. So this is typically a spoliation application, which would be on urgency. And um, if you disconnect anybody's utility supply, it is an act of spoliation. And if they go to court for a spoliation order, they will actually be successful with that order and they will have to reconnect the uh, the utility supply. So it's very important um, to be aware of this. The reason why the rules are, in some people's eyes, unfairly different for the municipalities is because they have bylaws regulating the way they supply electricity. And the biggest thing is the words that I just used, supply electricity. So in terms of um, the legislation bringing ESCOM into life, where only ESCOM is allowed to make electricity for South Africa. That's, a, that's an act. And when you do solar power and stuff like that, remember our legislation isn't updated the whole time. Um, some of it is, but things like your utility supply stuff, they've done that way back when, before solar power was even a thing. Um, so so the, the rule is only ESCOM is allowed to make electricity and then supply to municipalities. And in terms of that act, then municipalities are seen as resellers of electricity. So they become the supplier, unlike a landlord that allows somebody to use their ut utilities. But you as the landlord or the consumer, you are passing that benefit on to somebody else, but you are still in the consumer shoes. You're not in the supplier shoes. You're not allowed to supply electricity not even a body corporate, unless a body corporate has his own uh, uh, solar system or something like that. Other than that, you are governed by these um, acts and nobody is allowed to, to supply electricity other than ESCOM or then the municipalities. Now, the municipalities in terms of the administrative act. Um, so we have an act regulating these things. People don't just miraculously know how to do what and governments and municipalities and stuff doesn't just run because they feel this is a good idea. This is legislation uh, governing all of this. And the Administration Act allows for municipalities to promulgate their own bylaws. So the bylaws must obviously comply with, with all the other legislation. So a municipality can't just come in and like do its own set of bylaws and change the law completely in this city, we can do whatever. Um, it, it must still comply with, with all the other legislation that we have. But the municipality is allowed to bring in certain rules, for instance. If I give you 14 days notice, and this is specifically the City of Joburg requirement, City of Joburg bylaws allows the, the city to do a notice, a 14-day notice to the, to the consumer, so the owner of the property, and it will always be the owner, it will not be the tenant because the owner is the one with the relationship with the municipality, not the tenant. So the, the owner will then receive a 14 day notice from COJ. They will say, if you do not pay your electricity, we're gonna disconnect your electricity. Now what happens is if they then disconnect and you go to court with a spoliation application, they follow due process, they are legally entitled to do that. If they don't, and this is usually what we see, and this is the urgence uh, that I'm talking about, and we've had a few of them, these and always successful then against specifically city of Johannesburg, is where they do not follow due process. So they deliver the notice, but they don't actually deliver the notice. It's done and they have it on the system, but they can't show that they actually gave the notice to the owner. Or they didn't give the notice at all, or due process weren't followed, or there was a dispute in the background 
with regards to the utilities, and then I decided, well, screw this, I'm done. Um, I'd, I, I'd rather disconnect and see what happens then. In those cases, you will be successful with an application um, against COJ and they will have to reconnect your power and you will get a cost order against them, which is always joyful. But don't assume that you're going to be successful with that. If you owe money to any municipality for utilities, every single municipality in South Africa's bylaws does allow for disconnection if you do not pay them. It is allowed. It's allowed in terms of the Administration Act. It's allowed in terms of the Utility Supplies Act, something like that. And then in terms of the municipal bylaws, you as the landlord may not do that. You can't bring your own bylaws in. You're not a law unto yourself. Neither is a body corporate or any other body.